One, two, three, one, two. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends, and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. The more we play together, 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 the more we play together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends. <laughs> Hello, I am Ben from Music Academy. I'm Andrew. I'm Wes. I'm Steve. I'm Josie. We're here to tell you about our different strummers, jammers groups that we've got going on. So the reason why we started these strummers groups, there's two separate groups of course, one for the older um, people who come in, but it's an after work hours sort of thing, and there's another one for kids on the weekends, well since they're after school and they're very tired after school anyway. So we just want to help bring music to build relationships between kids and also to learn music and develop a love for it like all five of us do mm -hmm. and Chris, our boss and probably Frankie in the background <laughs> <laughs> As Andy said, the ones on the Saturdays are going to be aimed at younger children and what we like to do, even if there are the varying, should I say, varying abilities in the group. We do try to actually keep the young kids together because it does help actually keeping them in the environment with people their age. You can still actually have that social interaction. Whereas if you get a young child who's really good with a group of older people, they're going to sit there completely feeling out of place. Yeah. So at the younger ages, yeah. we keep them together. But then once you pass primary age, we'll generally try to keep it towards ability as much as we can. But if there are people who've formed good friendships at the younger age, we'll try and keep them together. And obviously, because it's all about the actual person doing it. So what we're doing in all of these groups, we'll be covering C. E, F and G7 and then working on loads of different chords basically to do with them. Simple chords really. A lot of the songs use three simple chords. We're going to be concentrating on them obviously on a wide selection of instruments. You can bring along the ukulele, your guitar, anyone has a banjo, be sorted for life. Yeah. Bring along your mandolin. If you own a mandolin, you and own the one percent of you out there that have a mandolin, you are speaking form. to one person. Out there. Yeah, I know yeah. exactly. It's you, right? <laughs> Jeff, you, me. It's Get your mandolin. Jeff. We'll teach you how to play it. So whether you actually have lessons with us or not, even if you don't have lessons, you can still come down and still just get the basics of the chords, and you never know you could then carry on to go and take lessons and develop more, or even vice versa. If you do have lessons, it's a great way to keep developing and to meet other people it's who are giving lessons there. Every five lessons that you get, one group session. It should be a little square on the card, so that means you can come down, bring along your instrument that you're learning in your lesson, and show off everything that you've learned and how you're just better than everyone. <laughs> so, That's so what it's all about in the end. <laughs> so it's all about ego and pride. <laughs> Two crucial points to get across though is that if, for argument's sake, if you're doing the page, your goal lessons, you're not looking in blocks, or if you don't have lessons with us, it will be five pounds per session. So obviously, rather being able to use a free one, and, like booking is really important. We do need to have an idea of the instruments there, what songs we're going to need, a few things. We can't really just try and wing it. It doesn't really work. So. <laughs> Our junior sessions will be on Saturdays at 4 p.m. Our senior sessions will be on Tuesday at 2 p.m. And for everything in between, it'll be Thursday at 6 p.m. For more information, go to musicacademyhub.com. Like and subscribe! We hope you like our content, and if you do, make sure you subscribe to our channel to make sure you don't miss anything that's coming up.